Hello, I'm Didier Stevens. I'm going to show you some more things you can do with the GNU Radio Companion and without any dedicated hardware like an SDR. Here we are going to look at some simple filters and we are going to do that with audio frequency so that we can uh, also uh, listen in. Um, so a new schema. I'm going to change this to the WX GUI uh, widgets. And here, the sample rate, I'm going to put this at 48 kilohertz because we are going to connect this to the speaker of my computer, uh, audio sync. So as a source here, I'm going to generate some noise uh, with a noise source. Double click here. You can see it's blue. So the output is complex. I'm going to change that to floating point numbers like this then I'm taking an audio sync and we connect the two save filters and now I can run this and now when I run this you will hear the noise here is the noise let me stop this. So this is uh, random noise that is generated here. Uh, and it uh, sounds like static on a uh, radio that is not tuned to any radio station. We can also visualize this with uh, instrumentation widgets here, WX. And here, for example, I can use the fast Fourier transformation sync so that you can see the, the spectrum of, of frequencies. And this here. It's blue, so complex. I want it float. I can connect this. And then I can run this. And now here you can see the frequencies at the power for the different frequencies going from 0 Hz all the way up to 24,000 Hz or 24 uh, kilohertz. Let me stop this and I'm going to add an other uh, display, a waterfall sink. It's similar to this output, but uh, here you also get a history. So let me change this to float. Like this. Okay. So and what you see here, again from zero to 24 and the color gives the intensity so here we are between minus 30 and minus 40 db and you can see here that between 30 and 40 we are in the green and that's what you see here and this is the time uh, parameter and uh, the scale so here we have already running this for 14 seconds and you can see this moving on like this i can stop this Okay, so now I'm going to introduce a, a filter. And the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, introduce a low pass filter. Like this. So this is blue. I'm going to change this to floating point. And then what the filter wants is a cutoff frequency and a transition width. It's also a frequency. So this, these are in red. They are, these are required. So I'm going to put this, let's say, at 10,000 hertz. And the transition width, I'm going to put this at 100, like this. And then let me remove all these connectors 
and then reroute this. So from the noise generator to the filter and then from the filter to the sink, and the FFT and the waterfall, like this. And when we run this, you see now that here at 10 kilohertz, we no longer have a signal and uh, the signal drops down and we have this. So that's what a low pass filter does. It lets all the frequencies until 10 kilohertz pass and the rest it uh, blocks. Now, uh, filters like this uh, are actually implementations of uh, analog filters. And so, and the cutoff frequency is not uh, precise at 10 kilohertz itself. Eh? It's also the transition width that makes how steep this uh, cutoff is. So let me stop this. So let me change this to a much wider transition width. So instead of having 100 hertz, let's put in 5 kilohertz, so 5000. Like this. And if I run this, you see ha ha here that the cutoff here is not so steep. Eh? That it uh, slowly goes down until here uh, 14. So let's stop this. So that was a low pass filter. Now let's take a high pass filter here. So float float 10,000, 100. And as you can guess, now it's the higher frequencies that will uh, pass and the lower frequencies that will be blocked. Like this. And here you see the opposite. And that's also what you see here uh, in the waterfall plot. Here we have some noise while here in the dark blue this is filtered out. You can also combine a high pass filter and a low pass filter eh, to make a bandpass filter. Mm. And this is actually also a component that exists here, a bandpass filter. So float float and now you have to give in two frequencies and what I'm going to do is from 300 Hertz to 3000 Hertz and let's say transition width of, of 10 and I'm choosing these numbers because from 300 Hertz to 300 3000 Hertz that's about the the frequency range that you would uh, um, hear on a telephone uh, a landline uh, so uh, a plain old uh, telephony system like this and here you can see the pass here is a bit of blue huh? And it also sounds different. Eh? It sounds like this is static coming out of a, a handset. Uh, and then the last one that I want to show is uh, uh, a notch filter. So a, the opposite of a bandpass filter here, a band reject filter. So float float, I'm going to say, let's say 3000 this time, to 6000, and a transition width of 100, and let's connect all these things.
and we can run this and here you can see now that frequencies up till 3000 earths they pass then the rest is blocked until 6000 here and then we resume and that's what you can also see here in the waterfall plot that was an illustration of uh, the different filters that you can use uh, in uh, GNU Radio Companion and as you can see of course there are much more uh, filters than the one that I showed you so you, you have some uh, more things to, uh, to explore Thank you.